All right, so anyways, I think let me get my people in the right formation. I think that's the formation you want. Do I want to grind two more levels? Not particularly. I think I can take Defender X. Which is the boss that I'm about to fight. Hello, Guado. Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. That is the least Guado sounding Guado. Yeah, so out of our way. That I have ever heard. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. They all have that like weird way of talking. The Maester doesn't need you alive. And neither of these guys sound like Guado. Like Trommel has that like, ho oh, oh, ho, Maester Seymour. And then Maester Seymour has that like, I'm a smug, arrogant asshole. They will have that weird like cadence, I guess. I think it's cadence. Uh, this is Defender X, by the way. And those guys just sounded like normal human beings. I'm not like bad mouthing the the voice actors, you know. The voice actors are just doing their job, right? Um, protect yourself. Because I believe he can one-shot you. Yeah, if I hadn't protected, I believe she would be one-shot. I don't think he can be power-broken. But I believe he can be armor-broke. Resistant to physical attacks. He should be able to be armor-broken. He's done it. Alright. So this fight is basically just, um... Have you leveled up? Did I just haste the person that I've already hasted? Woo, lad. I'm real bad. Uh, this is basically just the have you leveled up enough check in the, the fight. Blast punch, he's dead. Oh, right, it does percentage damage. Okay, cool. It's all good. It's percentage damage. No, no worry. I, I wasn't scared. I knew it was percentage damage. Um, lots of games have, like, cheese checks, you know. Have you been skipping through things and fleeing every fight? A.K.A. the, the fights that speedrunners hate, I guess. And I guess this is, uh, one of them. Because he's just a beefy boy. Who hits really, really hard. He hits for like... A thousand to three thousand or something per attack. And he's got Blast Punch, which I think does... Yeah, 50% of your HP. And I believe he counterattacks with that, so as you can see right there... There's the, uh, you don't have enough HP, Titus, goodbye. Part of the fight. I guess I should probably be using these. Although I don't remember the combination. But I can pick it up fast enough. 3,000, that's pretty good. I don't know if he dispels Aeons. Um... I'm not sure. Uh, Titus needs healing. A lot of bosses, like, don't like you using Aeons. Because... They, they just don't, I guess. I don't know. Because Aeons are too good. I mean, you couldn't have Yojimbo at this point, so... I guess that wouldn't really work. Yojimbo, if you don't know, is an Aeon that you get... Can get. He's optional. I think you have to do some a lot of side path stuff to get him. But basically, he's an Aeon that you pay gold to... And depending on the amount of gold that you give him, um, he will either sick his dog on the enemy, which is, I believe does like a, a decent amount of damage, or he'll just one-shot them. And I believe it works against, I think it's like, like the death spell, where it, it only works against certain enemies, but I think it works against some bosses. Um... I should probably be- yeah, I should have been sharing this entire time to raise their physical defense, because all this guy does is physical attacks. That was very dumb of me. 
Let's hope he doesn't follow that up with a haymaker, because I think she's the only one that I have. Or she. Yeah, Orin's a girl. Good job. Uh, Orin's the only one that I haven't protected yet, because she's been too busy casting Kira. Everyone's hasted, right? Okay. So let's just cheer maybe one more time after this. So they're all cheered. I don't believe they're all protected. Um, I'm not going to protect Orin just because I'm scared he might have some kind of retaliation. And if he does, that's going to be very, very bad. And maybe I will. I don't I don't think he has anything that he does if you protect all of your people. So this will be our last cheer and then we'll start wailing. It does increase defense and strength, which is nice because that's all you need for this fight. I think he has he does something to you if you um, cast spells on him. And he also doesn't have any like weakness to magic. As you can see right there, he just has a large pool of HP. So spells are not exactly very good. Plus he's not immune to armor break, so. You just wail on him with physical attacks. Um, I'm just gonna do some quick swapping. Obviously just for XP reasons. I'm not actually going to keep Kimari around. And I'm gonna get walk out as well. Yeah, he just he just counters with blast punch. He's probably going to kill someone here if I don't swap, but whatever. No, he's just gonna hit Titus. I don't know if he has like a limited amount of Blast Punch Retaliations that he uses, or what, but it seems like sometimes he just won't respond with the Blast Punch. Bye, Kimari. And other times, he, like right there, he didn't respond with a Blast Punch, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's like, he only responds, you know, no, it can't, I was about to say, he only responds to a character attacking him a single time before he stops doing that, but that's obviously not true because he just hit Titus twice with blast punches. Because Titus is hasted. Yeah, okay, so... I found a flaw in my uh, get everyone XP plan. <laughs> and it said they're not hasted, so they actually never have turns. So they just keep getting mowed down. So, I'm just gonna pray because if you use guard, it makes them go faster, or go sooner, rather. Yeah, like there he doesn't... I'm not going to mug. Lunar curtains are good. Uh, let's put protect... Oh, man, she's running out of... She's actually almost out of MP. Uh, we can use this, we can ether here. Oh boy. That's not good. I wonder if, uh, you know, I'm actually not sure. Does like cheer effect go, cause haste doesn't go away when you swap a character. Does cheer go away when you swap characters out? It wouldn't make any sense. I'm just gonna defend. Yeah, he's gonna go after Titus. So I can attack here safely, even if he punches me. It's a percentage thing. It's like Demi, you can't die to it, so. Whatever. So it should do 1200 something. There you go, 1247. Um, so everyone's been out for XP. So let's just put Orin back in. Oh, we've swapped camera angles. That must mean we're at a 
break point or something. I'll start using cure, that should be enough. Since she's hasted, she's going pretty frequently between his turns. She shouldn't really be taking too much damage. Oh, we hit 50% HP, I guess. Fifty percent HP, and all it's taken is half this episode. Wow, that was a, actually a solid hit, dude. I didn't know Titus could hit that hard. He's been eating his Wheaties, or you know, he's been cheered up a lot. Okay, Mighty Guard. That is shell protect null everything. Um, so he's not actually immune to physical damage there. The reason that it did that is because Titus's weapon does water damage and he had no tide. But we're just gonna dispel everything off of him because dispel's a really good spell. Another reason why uh, I farmed some XP back at Seymour to get dispel because dispel's really good. Did he get rid of? Wait, why is he slow going? What? Why did he just respond with slow- what did I do to trigger Sloga? Did he hit a break point? I mean, he's almost dead, but why would he Sloga? Interesting. This is why I wish I had haste go. Because then I wouldn't have to haste everyone individually. But he should be dead, or in, maybe it's because he got crit? No, that can't- that doesn't make sense. Why would they punish you for getting crits? There's gotta be some reason, though. Oh my gosh. Going from haste to slow is, uh, real bad. He should be dead, though. And there you go, there is Defender X. Look at all that. Kimari might be slightly behind in levels. Just a little bit. I don't want to talk about him. So if I had, you know, done two more levels worth of experience, which would have taken... I guess if I turned the speed thing on, probably not too long. Um, but I, I just, I don't want to have the videos just be grinding, you know? I want to actually have some new stuff to look at. I know that grinding is like an integral part of JRPGs, but it, it is not, uh, very exhilarating to watch. Unless you're really into that kind of thing. Unless you're really into watching someone fight the same mobs over and over again. Plus, Calmlands grinding means Marlboros, and you know how I feel about Marlboros. Uh, actually, where am I moving with him? So, I think I've got his whole tree unlocked, basically. So, here's the decision that you make, right? What do you want Kimari to do? Let's look at his stats. So he's got pretty good strength, he's got pretty good magic. His magic defense is garbage, his evasion is garbage, his accuracy is garbage, his agility is really bad. So, what I do with Kimari typically is I'll have him basically become my second black mage. Um, so I'm gonna move him down here. And I'm gonna take this level 1 lockout and just start getting him through Lulu's tree. Uh, there are some fights where having a second black mage is super helpful. I may have passed all of those fights already and Kimari is just doomed to being never taken into battle again because I'm doing this. And I could pour him, put him in Orin's tree and have him just be... You know, it, it's weird, because, like, you know, do you make him, like, the way in? a bad Titus? 
leads down into he's, the he's, he's got the jack of all trades. Around, yeah? Master of none yeah. issue going on. He does have Ultima though, which is insane. So, um, actually, I believe Yojimbo is down here, so maybe he's not too far in the game. I mean, obviously you can't have him for Defender X because the part to get him is literally after Defender X. Um. I think. Uh, I don't have enough money to be doing this, I don't believe. Because I think to actually get Yojimbo, like normally you pray, right? You pray and, you, and then Yuna just gets the Aeon. I believe Yojimbo, you have to pay him because that's literally his gimmick. Like that that's it, that's his gimmick. Is that you pay him because he's a mercenary. And if you don't pay him enough, he's like, yeah, I'm not doing anything for you, buddy. Okay, so it does look like I should be fine to um, be here, at least. I'm not actually in the cavern of the faith yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be okay to go there or not. But at least down here I can be. Without worrying about it. Uh, can I power break you? I think you're immune to some- yeah, okay. It is power break he's immune to. Um, uh, but I might- I might see if I can do the Cavern of the Faith. Of the... Lost Faith? Should, I can't remember the name of this place. Hold on once, let me refer to my, uh... Handy dandy walkthrough that I have on my other screen. Cavern of the Stolen Faith. There we go. Poison on someone who is hasted is very, very bad. I think that you can... Do you give me something? That's where the Crusaders are from. I believe there's something back here. If there's nothing back here, I'm gonna feel real stupid. Let's haste Orin, because he hits harder. Or should I just summon? I don't know. It's funny, like, every fight after you get Haste Ga is basically just cast Haste Ga, proceed as if nothing has changed. Because Haste Ga is just so ridiculously good. Why would you ever not use it? You know what, Apage? You're a dick, dude. I literally just cured him of his poison. And you just go ahead and re-poison him. This is not good. Um, I mean, one of them's dead unless I make them, well, actually, maybe this does enough. I highly doubt it. Yeah, I would have to hit for like 8,000 to do enough to kill both of them. So I guess we're just going to have you high potion yourself so you don't die to poison? As, like, suboptimal as that is, because he's about to die to- Is he gonna die to poison right now? Let's see. Wowie. 24 HP. What a lucky boy I am. Holy crap. This- this is terrible. <laughs> I wish I had, like, poison-proof gear. Oh, man. Next time I get into this fight, I'm just summoning an Aeon. I'm just gonna let Bahama do all the work for me. Titus gonna have like 24 HP again. Oh, he's gonna die. Neato. 
Titus, can you please stand back up? Let's talk about how great haste is. And that I never haste anyone for some reason in these fights. Like, I should have hasted everyone. Uh, especially Yuna, so she can Asuna and Kira, all of these things. That's a lot of us in that sentence. What is Blades? What in the world? That's new. I'm not sure I've ever seen that ability before. Perhaps I am slightly underleveled for this area. Why am I talking like a f robot? Okay. Uh, Orin doesn't get XP, right? Because he's dead? Yes, that is how it works. What in the world was that sword? Grunting? SOS Overdrive and three blank slots. That's actually insanely good. Um, that's shockingly good. Wow. I'm not sure I've ever seen a weapon like that drop this early on. I mean, I could, like... Hold on. How do you even do this? Uh... Customize. There we go. I could customize it, but I don't have, like... This stuff. Like, you want... Things like... Evade encounter, limit break. I don't have the stuff for limit break. And probably. Like initiative, maybe? I don't remember. Dark Aeons require like a pretty. interesting combination of things on weapons. Oh, right, that's what's back here the Rusty Sword. Uh, I believe that's part of Orin's ultimate weapon, if I remember correctly. Um, so we got that, I guess. We can just go up to Mount... Haste. I remembered. We can go up to Mount Gagazet. Just sit there and do nothing. Wait, I said I was going to summon. So I'm going to summon. Impulse. My game seems to have frozen. My game is back. I, I don't know how bad that was, but I'm probably gonna have to see what in the world just happened. Uh, what did just happen? Was it something very bad? No? Nothing, nothing bad? I'll take your word for it. Um... I don't think there's anything nearby that I'm going to need to worry about this for. So I'm just going to use it right now. Because it, it does, it has limit break built in. So it kills everything. Alright, so we got the rusty sword. Which we need to take someplace and do something with. And we got through that, which is nice. Um, so I guess we're gonna go into the uh, place. And I'm actually going to cut this episode right here because I'm concerned about that uh, freeze. I think OBS said it had an error or something, so I will see you in the next episode.